Hello Stanbridge College, my name is Jiro Francisco and I'm here with a very special person, Miss Catherine Earhart. Yes. And um, we're here to talk about cognitive disabilities um, levels, models. Mo the model uh -huh. of, and the assessments that and are the, associated with that model. And um, what we're going to focus on is the Allen cognitive level. And um, right. here to introduce herself more is Miss Catherine. Go ahead. Thank you, Jiro, for giving me the opportunity to speak to you all today. Um, my name is Catherine Earhart. I'm an occupational therapist. I am currently working at the Los Angeles County USC Medical Center's Psychiatric Service, where I'm the supervisor of occupational therapy services. I've worked here for almost 40 years. 40 years. Uh, 20 years of uh, 25 years of which I was privileged to work with Claudia Allen, who is yes. the author of the Cognitive Disabilities Model. She is now retired, but living happily here in Southern California. Oh, she's and so helping, local. Yes, okay. helping raise her grandchildren. I am still uh, working with the model that mm -hmm. she developed many years ago, starting in the early 1960s. Mm -hmm. And the uh, tools that are associated with it um, also have been developed over the last 40 years. Um, we use them in our program here in acute care psychiatry where we work with adults and adolescents. And our job as occupational therapists in this facility is to do the functional assessment of the impacts of various conditions that bring people to the hospital, such as bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and uh, psychotic events, which are due to taking in uh, illegal substances. Uh, and major depression is another condition that we also see frequently. Almost all of our patients experience some deficits, either temporarily or ongoing, as a result of these conditions. And our job is to identify the severity of these uh, impacts and measure them, and then also see if the medications and time is helping to uh, ameliorate some of these problems they're having. So then we make recommendations mm -hmm. to the treatment team about discharge, supervision needs, and assistance that they might need in activities that they want to do. Right. Um, maybe this is a good time to show them the little tool that, or okay. the kit that um, sure. is used to do the assessment or the screening part. Right. There is a tool that has been around for approximately 40 years. Um, it's called the Allen Cognitive Level Screen. And it looks like this. And basically, this is a, a, a quick and dirty look mm -hmm. at someone's ability to engage in visual motor learning and problem solving in three different tasks of increasing complexity, which are stitches. This is the first, this is the second, and this is the third. And while it looks pretty simple, um, it has actually been proven to be a fairly effective screening tool, which is to say it estimates uh, one's abilities at a moment in time in learning the, the learning three tasks and how this reflects a global cognitive capacity. The scores that you get out of doing this screen need to be interpreted in light of a theory called the Cognitive Disabilities Model. Mm -hmm. And so it's important to understand what this score means and what it tells you. Uh, the other important thing is to understand that you need to administer this tool according to the standardized methods. And those are contained in the fifth version of the manual. This is it. Uh, published in 2007. And Claudia Allen is one of the five authors on this manual. Very well. We have one occupational mm -hmm. therapy assistant in our staff and mm -hmm. seven occupational therapists. I'd like to say that the occupational therapy assistant also administers this assessment screen because she has learned how to administer it according to the standardized protocol and she has established what we call service competency in administering this tool. So we send Dolores onto the units uh, to administer this assessment tool and she gets a score which she reports back to the occupational therapist who then uses this part of the functional data to incorporate it into uh, a treatment. Only a few years back they did a, a survey and they found out mm -hmm. that this tool is the most widely used assessment tool in 
mental health practice, and I think it continues to be. Most common uh, practice area in which this tool was used was geriatric care. It's quite widely used in um, that area of practice. And then second was mental health, and third mm -hmm. was actually developmental disabilities. Is that the reason why there's a large L um, ACL screen version of it? Like, um, yes. A big, a twice bigger. as yes. big as this one. You can imagine this kind of uh, blown up, and it is intended to be used with people who have vision impairments or hand limitations. Which is common to geriatrics. Geriatrics, yes. exactly. Last question I yes. have. Um, where do you see the model like in the future, or where do you want it to be uh, after 10, 20 years from now? Is there a vision? Is there? Well, this is a good question. I think if you were to go onto the Allen Cognitive Network, you'd mm -hmm. find a vision statement there about we would like to think that the Allen Cognitive Disabilities Model is available to people all over the world for use to help people and caregivers of people who have cognitive limitations. We'd like to think that would be a wonderful thing. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jira, for the opportunity to talk with all of you today.